Clash in session. Class in session. Listen, I think this might be one of the most OP matchups on my channel. We have Eclipso, the Spirit of Wrath, versus the Living Trinity, the Living Tribunal. In order to find out who wins, I will use nine criteria, intelligence, strength, speed, combat, durability, invulnerability, energy projection, versatility, and TOT. That's that one thing. That one thing that could possibly swing the battle to that person's favor. If they lose it, you feel what I'm saying? So, brief summary. In the dim recesses of the cosmos, where light and darkness wage a ceaseless battle, a transformation of cataclysmic proportions unfolds. Dr. Bruce Gordon, a man of science, becomes the embodiment of malevolence and darkness. Eclipso, the prince of darkness in the DC universe. This dramatic metamorphosis is not a product of chance, but the consequence of an encounter with a mystical black diamond during an eclipse, a stone of immeasurable power that forever binds him to the entity of Eclipso. Eclipso's tale is as old as time itself. In the beginning, he was merely a force, a spirit of wrath and vengeance. But a chance encounter with scientist Dr. Bruce Gordon during a solar eclipse changed everything. Upon exposure to the light of a black diamond, Gordon was forever fused with Eclipso, his body serving as a vessel for the ancient entity of wrath and vengeance. Throughout his existence, Eclipso has been a source of chaos and corruption, a puppet master who manipulates individuals to serve his nefarious purposes. His ultimate ambition, to engulf the world in an unending eclipse, a realm of darkness where he reigns supreme. In the vast pantheon of DC Universe adversaries, Eclipso has had numerous encounters with entities of immense power, the most notable being the Spectre. The Spectre, a divine agent of vengeance, often serves as a counterbalance to Eclipso's malevolent machinations, their encounters a testament to the eternal struggle between light and darkness. Eclipso is the embodiment of darkness and corruption in the DC Universe. He is a master manipulator, capable of bending others to his will through possession and dark magic. His powers are vast, ranging from superhuman strength, speed and stamina to the ability to manipulate weather. He is virtually invincible, can fly and possesses an almost omnipotent ability to siphon divine power. He can possess multiple beings at once induce corruption and transform those he possesses into darker versions of themselves. Eclipso's character serves as a stark reminder of the potential for darkness within us all. He is a symbol of the corruption that can seep into the soul, a testament to the destructive power of malevolence. His story is a timeless tale of light versus darkness, a narrative that resonates throughout the DC Comics lore. Eclipso, with his terrifying abilities, and insidious intentions is a formidable adversary for any hero. His presence in the DC universe adds a layer of complexity to the narrative, introducing a character who embodies malevolence and serves as a constant reminder of the potential for darkness within us all. His story from his origin as Dr. Bruce Gordon to his encounters with the Spectre is a testament to the enduring appeal of the struggle between light and darkness in comic book storytelling. Have you ever pondered the concept of cosmic balance and order? How does a universe filled with infinite power and countless realities maintain its very existence? Welcome to an exploration of one of the Marvel Universe's most formidable and enigmatic entities, the Living Tribunal. In the vast expanse of the Marvel Multiverse, where gods and cosmic beings wield unimaginable power, there exists a higher echelon of authority, an entity known as the Living Tribunal. This cosmic entity, shrouded in mystery and wielding powers beyond comprehension, is tasked with a singular purpose, to uphold cosmic balance and order. The role of the Living Tribunal is akin to a cosmic judge. It observes and deliberates over the multiverse, stepping in only when the balance of power threatens to topple. Its interventions, though rare, are often pivotal, universe-altering events. It is the ultimate safeguard against cosmic chaos, a sentinel against realities spiraling into disorder. The Living Tribunal is not merely a cosmic entity, but an embodiment of abstract existence. 
It is immortal, existing beyond the constraints of time and space. Its powers are manifold and staggering. From manipulating matter and energy to warping reality and dimensions, the Living Tribunal holds dominion over the very fabric of existence. Its omnipresence across multiple realities and its nigh-omniscience make the Living Tribunal a being of unparalleled awareness. It can manipulate concepts, nullify powers, teleport, and even create new realities. This cosmic entity is a confluence of all powers held by other members of the cosmic pantheon. It is a composite entity, a sum of all cosmic forces. In essence, the Living Tribunal is the embodiment of cosmic order and balance. Its existence ensures that no single force, no matter how powerful, can disrupt the harmony of the multiverse. It is a testament to the notion that there are powers beyond the comprehension of even the most formidable superheroes and supervillains. To summarize, the Living Tribunal is a cosmic entity tasked with maintaining balance and order in the Marvel multiverse. Its role is that of a judge, intervening only in the most critical situations. Its powers are vast and incomprehensible, extending beyond the limits of dimensions and realities. It is a composite of all cosmic forces, a symbol of cosmic order and balance. The Living Tribunal is the unwavering sentinel, the cosmic safeguard against the chaos that threatens the fabric of reality. In the grand tapestry of the Marvel Universe, the Living Tribunal stands as a reminder of the intricate balance that holds the multiverse together. It is a beacon of cosmic order amidst the chaos, a testament to the enduring power of balance. The Living Tribunal's existence is a cosmic assurance that even in a universe of infinite power and countless realities, order and balance always prevail. Hey, if you're still here watching this battle, make sure you return soon to see this next one. In fact, just go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss it when it drops. Come on, man. Go ahead and subscribe. What you doing? Let's go. Let's do it. Ah, uh huh. <laughs>
When combined with the other powers and ability, he becomes a versatile and dangerous adversary capable of taking on even the most powerful heroes in DC Universe. Eclipso takes this combat round. Durability, the ability to withstand wear pressure or damage. Eclipso has taken blows from Darkseid, Starman, and even Superman, but this has nothing to do with the durability when it comes to TLT, as his durability is outerverse to high outerverse level. TLT takes this round. And vulnerability, incapable of being wounded, injured, or harmed. Both of these characters have the physiology and powers of some of the most powerful deities. Only one of them have a force field in their arsenal for protection. That's Eclipso. Eclipso takes this round. Energy, projection, and versatility. Both these rounds were given it to Eclipso. Eclipso has many of TLT powers and so much, so much more. I've counted at least 80 abilities that Eclipso can use in this fight. And these power ranges from something like fire manipulation to reality warping, you know. So the yeah, Eclipso takes his uh, energy projection and versatility round. Let's go. TOT, that one thing that could possibly change the whole battle. Remember, I mentioned that both share similar powers. Well, reality warping is one of their powers that they share. Now, what makes this choice easy for me is that one of them had the ability called reality warping resistance. And that's Eclipso. With that power, he would have the last laugh if it came down to it. So Eclipso takes this round. So there you have it, a very close match with Eclipso being the winner. Did you think Eclipso was going to take this fight? Or should the Levin Tribunal be the winner? Comment below, let me know. And uh, Thank you for checking out this epic battle and I hope to see you soon when class is in session. Clash in session!